Tag TV and Tag Radio be seen and heard by both technology users and technology producers throughout the state of Georgia and around the world. Low cost, big benefits, powerhouse online branded video and audio has arrived. Tag TV, Tag Radio, there's a lot more to know. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com. New media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. The day has finally arrived. you got that brand new, incredibly powerful, very sleek and attractive PC complements that smartphone perfectly. But wait a minute, what about your old electronics? Did you know as more PCs and other electronics get replaced each year that e-waste dumping is turning into a serious problem? That's right, almost every day tens of thousands of old computers, mobile phones, and other gizmos make way for new ones. But not surprisingly, e-waste is now a fast-growing part of the garbage stream in many countries. If improperly disposed of, the lead, mercury, and other toxic materials inside e-waste leak from landfills. Did you know that a single computer contains metals such as lead, mercury, gold, and silver, as well as many other materials? Some can be recovered and reused, but others, if not treated and discarded properly, can and will become hazardous to our health and environment. Greetings, everyone. It's Tuesday, April 10th, 2012, and this is Tech Talk with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mantella. I'm your guest host, Frank Baia. Up to the Tech Talk, Earth Day, April 22nd, 2012. In fact, April is Earth Month, and as technology leaders, we need to take action at our businesses and in spreading the word to clients and associates. Over 22,000 partners in 192 countries, more than 1 billion people now participate in Earth Day activities. And the high-tech industry is joining the fight in record numbers across Georgia, the Southeast, and the nation. Working with government and corporate clients, electronic recycling, cell phones, computers, and the recovery of technology-related assets can and will mobilize the industry to make a difference. But it starts right here, and it starts right now. As the Tech Talk turns, well, green, as we meet Electronic Recycling Services International Director of Business Development, Joe Cullen. The big emphasis on electronics and why. How is the industry changing in Metro Atlanta, and what can you do to make a difference? How to make your company not only cutting edge, but while cutting out the toxic waste in landfills, it's all about e-waste recovery of technology-related assets as we tech talk with technology top industry leader, Executive Joe Cohen, Electronic Recycling Services International. Joe, welcome to Tech Talk. Yeah, well, thank you. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, telling everybody a little bit about our company and uh, uh, the electronics uh, recycling uh industry and, and what uh, what companies can expect from uh, that industry. Well, I think it's uh, interesting that the uh, the industry has, uh, I, is, I'm sure it's a reflection of the outgrowth of the whole concern over the green movement and the environment and, and uh, obviously our long-term quality of life. Let's start about why the big emphasis. What is the big emphasis for electronics recycling? Uh, well, the big emphasis on the electronics end of it is uh, primarily because it being one of the largest uh, part of the waste stream, and uh, it's right now in the uh, adoption stage by all the states uh, to try to find a way to keep it out of the landfills, brownfields, and uh, um, get this product recycled, truly recycled back into uh, uh, into products and innovative ways to reuse this uh, material. Um, so it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, we don't want it in the environment, and on the other hand, you actually can retrieve certain components and recycle them back into new products? Yeah. Uh, all the companies that are in it right now, and it's primarily handled by the private sector, uh, and uh, about 100% of the material is either reused, refurbished, or actually commoditized uh, down to uh, products that can be reintroduced 
uh, into the uh, uh, back into the product stream. Uh, plastics, metals, uh, precious metals, uh, rare earth metals, um, and so it's uh, it can have you know a, a, a truly closed loop system hmm. of recovery. So. Well, the, to drift into maybe dangerous territory, is this something that actually, if I'm, you know, let's say I'm an office and I've got, you know, a network and I've got computers, that you would come and, and offer me to purchase them? Or is it a case where you pick them up so that I don't have to deal with them or a combination of both? How does that work? Yeah, uh, basically how we handle that would be uh, it'd be a combination of all those. Uh, every case is handled individually, so you, you'd... Uh, we approach the customer, give them a full inventory of what they have, uh, the value of that inventory, uh, the recovered value of that inventory, uh, and, uh, and then ask them to, uh, you know, cooperate with us on, on uh, taking that inventory and then getting them uh, a figure back uh, to what will be recovered uh, out of that that uh, disposition that we'll pick up, and then uh, they can get an idea of, of actually what the value is worth. Uh, so uh, there's there's a lot of documented cases of these uh, um, that we have on hand too. So if any company that's interested in doing this, uh, you can benchmark you know what the service will be to you. Now you've, um, if I'm correct, now Electronics Recycling Services itself has been around since '03. So uh, it was sort of a pioneer or a leader as far as the industry is concerned. Yeah, uh, just uh, briefly, uh, we are uh, tied with one of the pioneers, uh, Molam International, who started back in the 80s. Uh, it was uh, transformed into Recyclotronics, hmm. and we recently just partnered with them. So uh, they uh, they probably have the largest uh, demanufacturing line, which takes the uh, computers down to actual commodities, plastics, rare earth metals, and so forth. And the, um, so we're partnered with them, and uh, you know it it, it provides uh, uh, the the complete service uh, from actual the inventory assessment to the life cycle assessment to actually the actual uh, recovery of the material, and then that uh, value back to the customer. So uh, you know it's it's a full closed loop system, and uh, any customer out there in the tag world that would like to uh, you know, have, uh, you know, an assessment of what they have and uh, the values they're going to receive, uh, we'd be glad to help them with that. Well, you know, I, I'm sitting here kind of smirking in my mind because you used a term that I found kind of funny. And here, here today in, the, in our economy, we're talking about creating manufacturing jobs. But in this case, recycling is creating demanufacturing jobs. Is that an actual industry term? Is is uh yeah. Reverse uh, yeah, that is uh, just as you mentioned. Uh, that is, uh, you know, this is like uh, the manufacturing, the industrial revolution all over again. Uh, just in reverse. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, a full demanufacturing line is actually taking uh, a computer that's re- really truly in- reached its end of life, and then grinding all the components up uh, and extracting all the metals, the precious metals, the green boards. Uh, there's about 29 rare earth metals on a green board, which is the circuit board of the computer. And uh, all these have to be, you know, very sophisticated uh, methods to get these processed down. So when you come into the Recyclotronics or any of our facilities, uh, our largest facility is up in Toronto. And um, that facility uh, is it's very complex. Uh, it's got uh, optical sorters on it to... Uh, you know, displace all the different types of plastics and metals. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a very sophisticated, involved system. So. And obviously, the the environment, the ecosystem, not only in this case the industrial environment, not the natural environment, has a system or a process that accepts those raw materials back in again and makes new materials. So, man, major manufacturers, that kind of thing, would be uh, some of your clients for the for the actual demanufactured outcome. Yeah, yeah, and then and that and, that, and the term in that would be the downstream, uh, and uh, like like you just mentioned, all those downstream areas would be the plastics, the metals, uh, would go back into those OE uh, companies, original equipment manufacturers, such as Apple, um, Foxconn, uh, Oracle, uh, HP, IBM, 
Uh, and all those companies now, uh, it's scaling to the part that they're actually getting on board with taking back and, and, and plugging back into the uh, recycle part of, of the electronic industry and using those commodities back into their manufacturing process. You know, hearing the term is one thing. Actually hearing it described, it, it's, it's really fascinating. You, you, you would assume something like that happened, but not that there was an entire industry in a and actually an economic system that, that uh, used the quote-unquote downstream uh, byproducts. Now, you mentioned Ontario. I know you're located in different regions. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how you safely transport these materials? Yeah, we have a, uh, a fully dedicated logistics network uh, throughout the, uh, the U.S. and throughout the globe. And uh, these are all, you know, certified um, carriers and uh all these uh, the, the products that are processed here in the United States stay within the United States borders, and they're all downstream to uh, OEs in the United States uh, domain. And then outside of the U.S., uh, we treat um, the, the commodities the same way. So uh, we have a full uh, logistics partners uh, all around the globe, and uh, everything is processed and treated right in the, the uh, country of domain that, that we uh, service in. So, Okay, so now we've got an opportunity. We're certainly made aware of the facilities and the capabilities that uh, uh, electronics recycling services can bring to the table. Um, let's talk a little bit, you know, timing-wise, if I'm interested in, and I'm thinking about buying new equipment and I'm getting ready to make that decision, Probably Earth Day would make it uh, a little bit more uh, important that I reconsider not just throw them into the natural, in, into the predictable waste, the traditional waste, but that I actually contact electronics recycling. Um, do, you, do you guys have a, a program coming up for Earth Day? Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, in fact, Earth Day, Earth Month, uh, the whole month of April is, is pretty, pretty uh, full as far as uh, dedicated events. Uh, we have events on weekends. We have events with schools, with enterprises. Uh, with uh, real estate companies, uh, with uh, technology companies everywhere. So uh, uh, with refresh cycles and decommissioning cycles right now uh, on all technologies running around 10, 10 months, which means that if it's, uh, it's, a, if it's older than a 10-month uh, period as far as uh, the age of the electronics, it's probably a good candidate to be replaced or uh, refreshed and uh, recycled properly. So, um, you know, I, I think any company that's interested in actually putting together a, a formalized ITAD program, and the ITAD is an acronym in the industry, Information Technology Asset Disposition. So you want to get with a good certified ITAD carrier, uh, such as our company, and uh, set up a formalized review of your inventory and then what the value is and how you can put together a 12-month uh, program of, uh, you know, making sure that all the end-of-life products and, and parts of your inventory are handled properly and securely and in compliance because that's the biggest key you want on this. You know, as you're talking, I would think it would be a good return on an investment as far as buying that kind of equipment to actually anticipate uh, the timing aspect of recycling as part of the uh, the actual bottom line cost of purchase and then ultimate return on investment that not only you get the performance, you stay in, in compliance, you get the upgraded technology for competition, but you actually are uh, uh, working with a cycle that that gets you the I'm assuming the best dollar you can to uh, recycle it, which is uh, a good thing anyway. It's a, a uh, you're not just doing something uh, from a materialistic standpoint; you're doing it from an altruistic standpoint. Yet it it's a natural flow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and sustainability has got to be uh, driven through the economics of it. And uh, as long as we uh, all keep that in mind, then uh, it's going to be good for the customer and good for the whole system. Uh, there's there's plenty of uh, cases too that a lot of companies hold a lot of this inventory in big storage rooms or container areas or anything, thinking that you know the, the longer they hold that bad, the value goes down. So the quicker that they get on board with the program, it's going to be a better return on their invested dollar originally. So uh, a lot of the uh, technology is moving to the cloud. Mm -hmm. People are transferring a lot of their technology to the cloud. So 
their, you know, that that whole formula of IT departments and leases and leasebacks and so forth is changing dramatically. So uh, I think it's, you know, April is a great time to, uh, you know, with Earth, Earth Week and Earth Month to kick off a review of what you've got, um, you know, on the premise and uh, give us a call and we'll see uh, see how we can uh, work something out. Well, you just said the magic words. Give us a call. How do we get a hold of you? Uh, you can call uh, uh, call us here in Atlanta. Uh, our, our direct number here is at the office is 770-300-9909. And you can ask for me or Maria. Uh, or you can drop me uh, a line, uh, send me an email, um, uh, jcullen at ers-international.com. And uh, I uh, suggest that you go ahead and check our URL out, that which is the latter part of the email there, ers-international.com, for more information on the specifics um, on what we take and what we don't take and uh, how the whole program works. So. Well, excellent, Joe. Good information, valuable information, truly, and a valuable and timely uh, part of the year to make something happen. Thank you so much for taking time out of what I'm sure now is a pretty busy period of your schedule, but thank you for taking time to join us today on Tech Talk. Well, I appreciate that, and uh, I look forward to uh, speaking with the whole uh, tag community out uh, in uh, in the coming uh, month here.